I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Roman Real Style, and today I'm going to be talking about do you need to wear a necktie when you wear a navy blazer? All right, if you haven't yet, subscribe please to our YouTube channel. You can just do click on the subscribe button right up there. And by doing that, these videos come right to you. In addition, if you find this video useful, you like it, well, please click on the like button. Helps me know uh, that people do like these videos and I'll continue to make more of them. And finally, if you want to learn more about navy blazers, well, there's a link right here. And so just go and read up more about them and I'll even answer some questions I don't even talk about in this video. But this, for, for this question, we, we specifically want to address, do you need to wear a tie every time you wear a navy blazer? And the quick answer is not always. But you need to think about it every time you're trying to pull off this look. Because when it comes down to it, the navy blazer sits between the sports jacket and the suit. It's not a full suit but it can be very close. And so it depends really on how you're wearing the navy blazer and what type of navy blazer you're wearing. So let me go ahead and reverse that and get right to the type. If you're wearing a double-breasted navy blazer, you need to wear a tie. It's just more of a formal look and it doesn't look right if you try to pull this off with a tie. And, and the reason being is because it actually it brings the V up right here so the gorge is all of a sudden cut smaller. and you always leave that button. So you're not going to be wearing that jacket unbuttoned or, or anything like that. I mean, you keep that button. It's just a more formal look and you need to have a tie when you're wearing a double-breasted navy blazer. Now, if you're wearing a single-breasted navy blazer, and most of the navy blazers out there are single-breasted, you've got a choice and there's a few things you need to take into consideration. So look at what you're pairing it with. Is the look, is it a really dark, formal look. So if you've got a pair of charcoal gray, uh, let's say gray flannel trousers, and you're wearing that really dark navy blazer and it's got gold buttons with a white crisp shirt, that look to me screams for a tie. It's a very, you've got a stark contrast. It's a more formal look. It's right below a suit. And so you want to go ahead and go with a tie. However, if you're wearing a lighter pair of, of chinos, and again, you're wearing maybe a, a lighter shirt, but maybe it's made out of linen or something, it's got just a lighter air feel to it, you don't, I mean, that right there all of a sudden screams summer to me, and it's almost too hot, and you're, you would even be, you know, maybe you're going with a nautical theme here. And so you don't necessarily have to wear a tie. In fact, it would probably look better without a tie. So you can see how what you put the navy blazer and what you pair it with oftentimes affects whether or not you'll want to wear a tie. Now, there's going to be a few other things. If you actually, every time you're wearing a navy blazer and it's got gold or silver buttons, it's a more formal navy blazer compared with perhaps like mother of pearl, which you see I wear on this jacket here. And by the way, this actually isn't a true navy blazer because it uses uh, not one of the uh, four traditional navy blazer fabrics. It, it uses a, uh, what is it? A, you can't really see the pattern, but it's a small Prince of Wales check in here. Getting back to the gold or silver buttons, when you have gold or silver buttons, that make it, makes it a bit more formal. And so you really need to consider wearing it, a tie with it. However, get back to that look I was talking about where you've got a pair of chinos or khakis and you've got the light colored shirt, then you, you wouldn't have to. You could go with the, uh, the more laid back look. Uh, the other thing that you're going to want to look at is what type of textures are you mixing with this? So if you go with a medium uh, pair, medium gray pair of uh, gray flannel trousers and the shirt, let's say it's got a fall look to it, it's got a little bit of texture, a little bit of pattern, then you don't really have to, again, this is a, a more casual look and you're not going to have to pull off the tie. Again, it comes down to what you pair with the navy blazer and what type it is. So if you can, you know, and look at those, you'll be able to make the right decision every time. And at the end of the day, dress as you feel comfortable. I mean, I guess, you know, what was I? I was looking at some uh, videos the other day and there was this uh, singer or rapper, his name's Pitbull. Guy had a double-breasted jacket on. He left it unbuttoned. He's up there on the stage. I, I mean, who up, who's going to tell Pitbull, you know, that he's wearing that thing wrong? So if you've got the confidence, you do whatever you want, Okay. Take care. This has been Antonio Centeno with Real Men Real Style. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.